Good morning, my friends. One of you asked me a question. Well, actually, I've had two questions that I could address in this video. I will only address one of them. But the first question was, how do I find places to boondock? Um, well, I have been lucky to find nice places over time. And uh, well, yesterday was for sure one of those times. I'm here next to the sea. I'm not going to go outside right now because it's very windy, so the microphone's not going to deal with it. But anyway, how do I find great boondogging spots? Basically, I can say I use Google Map a lot. Um, I'm going to show you just the basic. I need to find a new spot because I have a rule for myself unless it's a place where I'm directly allowed to stay more than one night you know if if someone tell me you can stay here more uh, then the rule for myself is I never stay in one spot more than one night and that is well you don't want to overstay your welcome you know you don't want to cause problems I think in a place like this I could stay one more night it wouldn't be a problem but I'm not going to do it it's just you know if you don't overstay your welcome you can come back Anyway, I need to find a new spot. The first thing I have to do is kind of decide how long do I want to drive approximately for the new spot. During this weekend, I need, I need to work my way down from where I am now down to Roskilde. So I would say approximately halfway to Roskilde. And that is because in on Monday morning, I need to go to work in Roskilde. So... If I work my way down like half the way today, half the way tomorrow, then I'll end up in Roskill at the right time. But anyway, Google map and I will see if I can put the camera so that you can see the monitor on my computer. Because obviously I use my laptop and I use Google map. So let me just set up. Okay, I got the camera set up. Let me see if I can do it this way. The thing I do, first of all, I just type in the name of the place where I am now. And Nukum Chilan. And I obviously I choose map. Okay. So First of all, I can just show you. This is the whole. This is the whole Sealand, and if I zoom out further, you can see this is Denmark, and I'm over here. So let me just zoom in. Take that away. like that okay right now i'm up here and monday morning i'm working down here so somewhere around this area would be yeah somewhere around that area so let me uh, just zoom in around the holbeck area and then obviously it's easier to see boondogging spots if we use the actual map, the satellite photo. And then it's just something about, well, looking for areas where it could be. And yes, usually I'm looking especially for sites around the seaside. This here is, this here is Holge, Holbeck town. So maybe on the other side of the Holbeck, there was a, <coughs> excuse me, here was a small marina, Holbeck marina. They probably charge money for uh, overnight stay. There was a, is that a possibility? No, that's a farm out there on the island. Oh, actually, I can see that's a golf course. You see all these sand traps. That's a golf course. Forget about that. 
golfers, they don't like boondoggers. <laughs> Let's see. There was some... Let's see if we can find something else. There's a road going into the forest here. Are there vehicles down there? Nah. There is a gravel road going in. That could be kind of... You see this here? It's actually a road. It is a... I don't know if it's a gravel or grass road going into the forest and going down here and something's parked here I can't see if it's in but there are boats this should be possible that could be a neat spot actually that could be a very neat spot on this uh, on that small island Munkholm Munkholm that would Oh well, that's, a, that's one option. I will have to pull off to the side of the road and that is, I think, possible, yeah. That would be possible and then walk. I can just pull off here and then walk down to check that out if that's an option. You see, that's kind of the process. You know, finding the spot and then some spots you have to scope out. You have to go to this, the place to scope it out. You see, now I just went to street view and let's go to where the road. Because then in street view, I can look if there's any signs. Oh, there is a sign. That's not good. I don't know what the signs say, but it looks like no entrance. And here is a sign saying no stopping, no parking. And the shoulder of the road is too narrow, so I cannot stop on the road to check it out. Well, that's too bad. But I can, when I get here, I can slow down and look at that sign that was right here to see what it's saying. Because that is for sure an interesting spot. But I'm not sure that it would be uh, an option. Let's see if we can look down there. Nah, it's probably... Uh... Oh well, I can have a look, but that's one of those places where I say, okay, that could be, but I'm not sure, so I will find another spot as well. And I might just found it. Let's see. What is this? There's information board. What's this here? There's a big parking area down here. You know what? I think that could be an option. It's kind of strange that it's not... Uh, well, when I get there, I'm going to stop at the ice cream shop and then I'm going to walk over and, and scope out the, the spot. So, that's basically how I find good boondogging spots. Now, I don't know if this is, uh, if this is an option, if I can uh, boondog there because there are some houses. I, I think it's some museum of some kind, but let's see when I get there. Um, if that doesn't work, I will pick out my uh, phone or, or my tablet and I will check out other locations that are possible. Anyway, that was the basic of how I find good boondogging spots. Google map <laughs> and then a little bit of luck or a lot of luck actually. Anyway, let's get on the road. I have raised the jack on the nest and made everything ready inside so now we can drive off from here <coughs> this 
very nice spot and for sure this spot if I'm going to work in Nukubing Sjælland again I'm gonna go over here to Boondark first spot we looked at, I, I told you there was a sign saying something and I couldn't read it on Google map. It said private uh, private property. So that's a no-go. But over here on the other side... That's a beautiful bridge, this one. See the green, uh, the blue sign with the white P. That means parking area, and because it's blue, then it means it's public parking area. So that's why I can go park here. I just need to find out where to. You know what? like this. I do take up more than one spot but I don't find it. I don't think it's a problem because there's plenty of room. Let's have a look at this spot. Well, I moved the nest. It was uh, better here. Not so uneven ground. That was a little bit strange. <laughs> you know, I went here this morning and I parked and I went inside the nest just to uh, get a little bit of breakfast. But uh, I ended up taking a nap. I usually don't do that in the daytime, but uh, well, I was tired. I guess that's where the weekends are for, relax. But uh, I'll take you for a little bit of a walk, let you see the area. It is quite nice here actually. Um, so, uh, and of course, I was about to say, as always, not always, as very often, is next to the sea. I love the sea. I love the, the fresh air near the sea. Let's have a look. Oh, it's low tide now. Let's walk up here.
Yeah. I guess I was lucky again about a great boondogging spot. Now you saw how I do it. Google Map is my friend. Right? You can always find nice spots on Google Map. As I said, find the general location of the area you want to go to and then start looking around. You know, just go on the satellite view. Not the map, on the map you can't see it. Satellite view. You can see all the small spots and then you kind of have a feeling of what the area looks like. And then you just kind of look for places that could be like parking lots and parking areas and rest areas and stuff like that. It's kind of steep, this place. <laughs> Not easy to see on the camera, but maybe if I do like this, you can see the trees are on a slope. I just kind of decided I want to go up and see what's on the other side of this. And but yeah, um, <laughs> that's that's not easy, especially not in this footwear. <laughs> I'm wearing the these kind of shoes. They are for sure not made for this kind of terrain. Nope, <laughs> I'm not getting off. That's annoying. I want to go up. <laughs> there we go. Determination. <laughs> That was that was steep. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, the rules and regulations about parking in Denmark. I will get back to that, but just as a rule of thumb, when it's a blue sign. With a white P, it means it's a public parking lot. Private, par private parking lots, it's a black sign with a white P. But more about that later on. Wow, this is really a nice place. Look at this. That's that's how I find my boondogging spots. And obviously, it's not always I'm lucky. Today I was lucky I found a nice spot. But sometimes I, you know, sometimes I find a spot and I think, oh wow, that looks very cool. And I get to the spot and I'm actually not able to park there. That can be all kinds of stuff. New signs they just put up, you know, or whatever. I've tried that they put up a new sign that said no parking. I've tried they put a sign with the picture of a travel trailer and a cameraman with a red line across so it's not allowed to. I tried they put chains or big rocks across the road for some reasons so uh, but also I tried to go to a spot that I on Google looked very good and then when I actually got there it was like nah <laughs> so uh, but yeah sometimes I'm lucky I find great spots um, I guess this time is one of the look at this 
That is for sure a beautiful area. Anyway, my friends, I better end this video before it gets too long. So, I hope that you got an answer on your question. I'm sorry I don't remember who it was I asked the question, but anyway, that's how I find great boondogging spots. Of course, every now and again, every now and again, you kind of drive on the road and you see a spot and it's like, oops, that's it. But most of the times I use Google Maps. It's just a great tool for yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoy your weekend. I know I do. Hope you do all the stuff you like to do when you have time off, don't have to go to work. Just relax, do what you like. Whether that is being with family or being in nature like I am or well, whatever. I promise you take care of yourself and have a good time and remember life is good bye bye